Okay, so you win the primary, and Brendan Byrne miraculously wins his primary. You said a few minutes ago that you feared him more than any of these. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Why? Because he was one. He was governor, and uh, uh, the power of the incumbency is something I knew a little bit about. Uh, and two, I never thought I could handle him on the tax issue. Really? Yeah. Never thought. Well. That flies in the face of conventional logic, which uh, says that you should have had the inside track because he hiked the tax. Except the homestead rebates play a huge, much larger role in that election than any other election, because this was the first one, the first rebate. When did it go out? What month? Well, the first check went out, I think they went out in July, something like that, July or August, right in that period. But... Uh, I kept hearing rumors that something was happening in the Treasury and that I should go down and, and, uh, and demand to know what they were doing at night. This was about two weeks before the election. Uh, what was that all about? <laughs> well, Brendan and I campaigned together uh, on Election Day, which was pouring rain. We went to two or three different uh, places. It's, you know, he, he'd be there or I'd be there. I went home about 2 o'clock in the afternoon because it, it was just absolutely a downpour for 48 hours. I sat down and right at the top of my uh, pile of stuff in the kitchen, I sat down and my wife gave me my martini and we were saying, thank God we're here, you know. And, and, uh, uh, Meaning it's right over? At, thank God it's over? Right at, the, yeah, right at the top of the pile was, was a letter, a dear homeowner letter from Brendan uh, saying that uh, we're happy that you got your homestead rebate and your next rebate will be in March of <laughs> next year. <laughs> the Treasury Department has sent one of those to everybody in the state of New Jersey. Really? Every home one. Yeah. How interesting. Yeah. Now, it was, I, it, that was the, you know, no matter, when, when all the bullshit is done, that was the election, the homestead rebate. And I don't even know who, who brought that on? Somebody told me it was uh, uh, the guy who ran the assembly uh, uh, from Trenton. Senate? Judge Branty? No, no, no. No, no. Before Jeff. Uh, uh, well, I think of his name. But in any case, it was a, it was a stroke of genius because all the Republicans who commuted to New York City were getting a free 500 bucks and, and uh, they didn't get any tax because they were already paying the income tax. Um, how did you handle the tax issue after the primary? You say that Cain forced you to be against Well, tax. no, he didn't force me to be against He, he, his tough opposition made, I had to kind of parrot what, what he said. You know, I wasn't forced to do it, but I was worried about losing the primary, frankly. Right. Okay, so in the primary, you're a hard anti-income tax guy. Yeah. And then uh, uh, it was Dick Coffey's idea? Yeah, I, well, I heard it was Dick rebate? Coffey's idea. Okay. I don't know. I don't know whose idea it was, but it was brilliant. It was, it was it was brilliant at that moment, and neither Brendan nor I, because we talked about it, realized how important it was. Um, all right, so you're up against Brendan. He's hiked the income tax. Uh, up against Brendan, and we start right out a week after the primary in our first debate. We had 13 debates. And we had a big debate at Princeton, and uh, I never, I never told him this, but uh, they had a house. Uh, the Princeton gym was filled, 1,500 people, something like that. And uh, my father was dying in Somerset Medical Center at the time, and I should have never gone to the debate because by the time I got home, he was dead. And uh, 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 I was. Uh, it was a very, it was the worst moment of my life, I think, I, uh, my political life. I didn't want to go, 
uh, my heart wasn't in it. And uh, you felt you couldn't have canceled. That's what my advisors told me. You can't cancel. Was it a mistake to have so many debates? No, I think it was good. I wasn't. That, that didn't bother me. He's a. Yeah, he he won. He won. Uh, uh, we had thirteen. He probably won eight, and then I probably won five, or something like that. About halfway into the election season, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. You called a press conference and announced your economic plan, the Bateman-Simon plan. How, how important was Bill Simon he was, he, in your, cam in your he, campaign? He and Chris Daggett did, did that particular piece. They worked on the, on, uh, uh, on the tax issue. And, uh, Simon had been U.S. Treasury he had Secretary. Been, he had been Secretary of the Treasury. And, and uh, at that time, he was a... He was, uh, he was a, a, a high-level kind of a, a kind of a, a well known, a well known, and, and kind of respected. Uh, he was a tough Treasury Secretary, and uh, you know, uh, it, it, it's a lot of it's a lot of uh, 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 Brendan typically made it the BS plan, and which was which was wonderful really when you think about it, but that didn't have any effect. No, no. Because when his people tell the story, yeah, they, they think that had a yeah, big effect. No, I think the big effect was a homestead rebate. They don't talk about that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> if you look at the election results, if you go back and read the, those election results, I had more votes in the cities than any Republican that had ever had ever had before. But I got wiped out in Ridgewood, Bernardsville. Uh, uh, Morris Town, May, May Commuter Towns. Huh? Commuter Towns. Commuter Towns. Wiped out. Um, how phony was your plan? Uh, it wasn't phony, but it, it, uh, it, uh, uh, it wasn't phony at all, except it depended upon doing away with the homestead rebates. That's the only way I could make it work. Because the, the way, again, the way uh, the Democratic people from that time portray it is, well, the numbers were just didn't add up in that time. Yeah, well, uh, they, they didn't add up uh, only because we, I, 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 was, I endorsed an in, increase in the sales tax. That was part of the plan. A one cent increase in the sales tax. And the other unwritten part of the plan was to do away with the homestead rebates. Uh-huh. That was unwritten. You well, we didn't brag that. about it, but it was part of the plan. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, let's say we downplayed it. Do you recall whether the media coverage uh, of the tax issue worked to Burns' advantage? Well, I think the uh, uh, at that time in September, the 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 general opinion was that. He was behind and I was ahead. I didn't really, I never really took that very seriously because nobody knew me, even then. Uh, uh, but his his ability to uh, to focus a BS plan uh, uh, attracted the press. I think they liked that. That was. Uh, they can't blame him for that. I, uh, if I if I'd been writing, I'd I'd, I'd have found that quite quite uh, 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 fun to write about. 